What's up, Stud Muffins? Today we got a whole lot of good news. We got Cloudry as well. We got a new Cyberpunk game confirmed. We also have GTA 6 in the news. Oh, We're gonna be getting right into the story. Hit that like button, but change it into a dislike once you get to the end. And if you did not enjoy, hit that like button, Stud Muffins. But check this out, man. CD Projekt Red. Ow! How many of you are down for a CD Projekt Cyberpunk game? CD Projekt Red confirms that the new Cyberpunk 2077 sequel will enter its research and development phase in 2024, man. I, I got this. I got this question. How many of you suckers are gonna be pre-ordering this game? Let me know. Boy, if you don't get- This is such clownery. Apple Vision Pro VR got confirmed. Okay, check this out. 35! 3500 are you guys out of your goddamn mind they are charging people $3,500 available early next year at $3,500 all day use when plugged in and, and guys this is where the sauce is at okay two hour battery I'm baffled like who is gonna buy this trash there are suckers trying to sell $500 VR and they're having a hard time selling that $3,500 I mean get that on man get more okay but guys check this out okay so the homie XQC came out he went in gang gang he went XQC Tate on those more out there xqc says that we do not need more women in esports you know this is gonna be good Roll it. people need to stop doing this we need more women in esports and we need more women into this no no we don't we need skilled players that that deserve a spot True. and if that person is a girl then f it absolutely we do right but the blank is that, that we need more girls on the basis that they are girls is stupid when you are being overly progressive and you're forcing women into stuff on the basis of their women, not because they are good. It causes the exact opposite of what you're trying to achieve. Mm -hmm. When you put the people that deserve in, in the place they deserve to, and they're now accepted for the right reasons, not some bull. This might be XQC's very rare W. Smash the like button if you agree. But guys, we're gonna have a whole lot of toxic gamers after this story. Sony Ponies, Xbox, y'all might wanna chill because the homie Aaron Greenberg. <laughs> He came out and, and he started responding to the toxic gamers, to the fans, because one guy actually says this, no movie trailer. Please, he responded by saying that can confirm there will be no movie trailers in our game. This is all happening because we all know what happened with the PlayStation Showcase, Bruh. right? Like, they both started showing movie trailers. They had that Grand Turismo movie trailer, and uh, my guy said that, no movie trailers, please. This one says that, Aaron, I recommend posting the famous temper the expectations tweet. Some podcasts have mentioned crazy expectations for Xbox Showcase. I think this show will be great, and many of the previously announced games will be there in addition to new surprises, and Aaron responded by saying that no plans to tease, tamper, or spoil anything. Love seeing all the wild expectations. My advice is just to just come in open-minded and enjoy the ride. My guy, this showcase better be the eight wonder. Otherwise, you know, man, the Sony ponies are gonna go in gang gang, just like the Xbox went super hard at that PlayStation showcase. My guy, it's gonna start WW6. But guys, I also had the opportunity to play yeah. Red Dead Redemption 3 early, you know what I'm saying? I might do a vlog. If, if you guys wanna see a vlog, if you wanna see early gameplay, hit that like button, hit that yeah. subscribe bell. I might do it if you guys wanted but on to some sad news ladies and gentlemen may mark the lowest month numbers of players playing call of duty modern warfare 2 and warzone 2 on steam since the game's launch while steam represents the smallest size of the player base activision continues to lose pc players over the lack of actual gameplay changes and guys say whatever but it's kind of sad right obviously we have talked about call of duty a bunch of time on the channel we talked about the lazy devs bunch of times the activision with their low iq decisions not even caring about the feedback we talked about that bunch of times but it is truly sad to see call of duty fall this bad right there's literally nothing happening in call of duty there has been bad news after bad news we heard about the hacking situation we heard about them taking down the mod outside of that there is nothing happening in the game there is literally no content coming to the game and the only news is
is basically the drama right now everybody's going off at call of duty but however charlie just said that the problem with call of duty is that while a lot of us are upset with the state of the game the microtransaction sale oh yes oh yes we love uh, love to see microtransaction sales and i know this is you guys right now my guy quite frankly that's me too right now because i i don't get it man people complain but people still buy it right the mtx sales need to perform at a very high pace which leads the devs to make fewer changes black cell apparently has sold very well for season three guys what are we doing here man? like the same thing if you are the same guy that actually complained about that black cell those of you that do not know black black cell is a 30 dollar battle pass Bruh. And people bought it like absolutely crazy. It sold like hotcakes. It was the number three best selling. And Charlie until kind of making sense right now for maybe the first time. Uh, let's be real. Everybody complained about it, but they still buy it. And if people still buy it, then the devs are probably not going to change anything. And this is why we're not getting any content. Brad, like one new map after five months, that's all the proof you need. These suckers cannot make anything. And let me actually show you guys this, okay? Guys, everybody gather around, okay? You might want to sit down if you got baddies around if you got wives around you might want to not let them see this okay because this is activision this is you okay this is you this is the player this is the gamer okay that they want to label as toxic and problematic so the gamer plays call of duty this is the honeymoon phase this is like call of duty devs right here that's a massive call of duty dev allegedly i don't want to go see that but this is call of duty you played on the honeymoon phase you are enjoying it call of duty devs are happy that you are like in the game but one year later you have to put that smile on your face man because call of duty is kind of chalk the devs took advantage of the entire situation okay that's essentially what's Bruh. happening to the call of duty community right now finally there is some good news we are getting new marvel spider-man 2 ps5 footage and across the spider-man verse or spider verse i should say <laughs> because uh, right now a lot of people are also believing that we're going to be getting new gameplay at the summer game fest which is going to be happening at 3 p.m eastern on june the 8th i will surely be live streaming on the channel so hit the subscribe bell but apparently during the movie we ended up seeing this uh, let me play this here so you can see spider-man you can see the hud right here as well he got this uh, the tentacles it's very short gameplay you barely see see it right but people that got to see the movie in theaters they were pretty much mind blown some people were also saying that y'all are just coping this is spider-man ps4 gameplay but i guess it's safe to say this is a uh, spider-man 2 gameplay especially when you see the tentacles and, and you get to see the hud we're also hearing that phantom blade zero won't have microtransactions will feature souls like elements but more of approachable my guy i i don't believe it okay i need to see that first before i start believing okay because how many times we hear them say that there's not gonna be microtransactions but later on we get microtransactions but okay that is a uh, pretty good news but i mean god damn sony ceo warns technical issues still remain for cloud gaming but yoshida yoshida however says the corporation wants to take action on those challenges my guy like come on bro Take action on making free to play online. Free to play online. Hit that like button, subscribe if you agree. What are you waiting for? Subscribe. Take on challenges for making free online. Take on challenges for making sure that everybody, all of your PlayStation players get like free $100. Y'all suckers gotta take challenges on that, bro. But PlayStation said that it will soon reveal aggressive plans for cloud gaming. Jim Ryan teases interesting take on the feature. He says that we observe mobility in gaming habits to be an increasingly important trend and the cloud will be fundamental to allowing us or indeed anybody else to exploit that trend. Oh shit! Guys, oh, shit. it is over and we all heard about that recent PlayStation Q handheld and it does look kind of good with the controller and with like the, the iPhone in the middle. But more <laughs> only gonna last for three to four hours and that would have been... I had it been that you didn't need to have a PS5, had it been that you didn't need to get inside PS5's butthole or something like that. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Maybe PlayStation Q is gonna be part of their strategy to test out the cloud gaming feature. And let me tell you oh this, guys. God. Like, in the future, console gamers are definitely gonna be looking like this, man. Because you know for the fact that they're only gonna be caring about the cloud gaming and the mobile gaming, guys. Like, it, it'd be like that, guys. Like, it'd be what it'd be, man. But however, GTA 6 is back in the news. A lot of people are talking about it. There are two things that I wanna show you. First of all, Rockstar Games officially confirmed that GTA Online Update is gonna be coming 
streaming on June the 13th. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, shit. I will try and live stream. And right now, a lot of people are believing that this is happening because of GTA 6. This is happening because of GTA 6. Because in the past, they have never done, or in fact, they have done it, but it's been years since they have done an update this early. Usually, they do it like August. They never really do it in June. So a lot of people are believing that maybe this is happening because they want to get this update out as fast as possible and then it's going to be all about gta 6 and guys i i know that sounds like a fantasy world but uh i truly hope that's true we're also hearing that gta 6 will reportedly take us to cuba oh no my bad oh shit. this is the one i was looking for okay and essentially this news is coming from uh, a youtuber and i know what you'll be saying well youtuber apparently the article talks about why this guy is legit for those wondering mech vicker has had a solid track record for leaks in the past although they have mostly been focused on games and projects from valve he's considered like a very reputable leaker in the community of valve so that's uh, number one and he says this we already know how gta 6 is gonna end spoilers bonnie and clyde back in like the 30s died in in a blaze of gunfire it's not three playable characters it's two playable characters it takes place uh, with a time jump it takes place in the miami florida area and then also part of cuba it's about the next week print it's about making money and it will be out in 2024 i mean damn okay done you think he's capping or spitting facts we also had some brand new gameplay leaks for gta 6 with 50 features click on this video on the screen on the left we got another disaster players are getting hacked their credit cards are being stolen by just playing this game check these videos out guys and i will see you right there